Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome to my channel. In this new series, I'll be showing you how to create your own idle clicker game in Unity. The player will be able to click on any enemy with their mouse, and after so many clicks, the user will earn money for that task. Then we'll make auto clickers later down the line, which will automatically click the enemy for the player. They'll be able to purchase more auto clickers too, which we can make more advanced later as well. There's a lot to do, so let's get our Unity project created. The first thing you'll want to do is create a new project in the Unity Hub. I have the beta hub, so it might look a little bit different, but you'll want to select 2D, name your project something that you will remember. So I'll do idle clicker tutorial and then create project. It might take a few seconds for Unity to load. All right, I'm on version 2023.25. I believe there's already a new version since the release of this video. So whatever version you're on is probably fine as long as it's 2020 and up. If this is your first time using Unity, you can easily look at each section and it will have a set of commands. So if you have the scene here, this is the scene and the game. This is how I like to lay out my Unity. Uh, you can move around different things because um, they have separate tabs here. And I just prefer to have my console and animation down here with my project over here. So this will be all your files. This is the scene we're in right now. And then you have your console for any coding errors or animation, which we don't really need animation, so I'm just going to close this tab. But then we also have Inspector right here, which will tell us all about different things like the main camera. So the background color right now will be blue, which is totally fine, and the depth is minus one. All these things are default, so that is fine for now at least. There are a couple ways of importing your art into Unity. For 2D games, you'll want to right click and either use a 2D object sprite, which will be something that you can code movement system for and have it move around on the screen or if you want to use something like a ui system where they can see their money or have different buttons on the screen you'll want to select this so i'll create a ui canvas and everything for the ui stays in the canvas so now you can create a button or a text or even just an image so like i said you can create an image with the white square or you can just right click and create a 2d object Square, and that's literally the exact same thing. Uh, obviously, I guess it's a different size for whatever reason, but you know, that's how it goes. The square is default one by one by one scale, whereas the image is 100% width and height. So it's a little bit different. I mean, it does have the one by one scale as well, but it's a little bit different as you can see these with the image and the canvas renderer, or this has a sprite renderer. So that's going to change how you talk to it in the code. But for now, we don't need this a game object. So this is how we'll have enemies. Enemies will be a game object. Delete that. Everything on this canvas, so this image right now, this is going to be our UI for the screen. We'll want to create a currency system. We'll want to create different buttons. And there's a lot that we can do with this now. So first, I'll want to create a background image. And I've already created my image, I just need to select a source image for it. If you already have an image, you can use that. I have created my own, so let me just grab that and put it in real quick. All right, now that I have my image in here, I can just rename it to background image. And I can set my image as that background image. And it will be kind of small, but you can easily scale that up like I showed you earlier. So you can just do like 5 by 5 by 5 or, well, Z doesn't really matter, so, um, or I can do 10. So 10 looks a little bit better. I definitely need to change the aspect to 1080p, so you can easily select the game free aspect and change it to 1080p. And if you don't see this view, the game view, you can go to window and make sure that you have everything selected here. Um, right now I just have them separated. So you might just have scene on top of the game and have to swap between them, but you can easily put it like right next to each other and it will change where the tab is. So now I can see the image a little bit clearer. Maybe I'll do 12. Yeah, 12 looks pretty good. Um, I wish it was a little bit wider, but I mean, hey, that's how I drew it. I drew a square image. That's facts. All right, if you want to edit the image, we should be able to select how wide it is. Yep, there we go. So if you hit F on the keyboard, it'll actually show you the object. It'll zoom into it. 
So right now, down here is where the actual game objects go. But since we're in the canvas, it's zoomed out and it's in its own little uh, area. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to put it down a little bit, put it down a little bit. Actually, you know, I might as well just make it pretty big. There we go. That seems like it fits the canvas a little bit better. So now if you hit play, it'll actually play the game version. As in, if you were to have scripts and code, it would actually start processing them now. So if you hit maximize on play, then it will maximize this when you hit play. And that's basically what we have so far. Just got a little mushrooms, a little flower, and uh, not much to show for just yet. But once we get an enemy out, we can put some scripts onto it so that when you click it, it will take damage and then give you money. And then you can use that money towards buying auto clickers, which will click for you. This code will be very versatile, so I hope that you guys can use it and take advantage of whatever game you decide to make. I've gotten a lot of inspiration from Cookie Clicker, and so I'm deciding to make my own idle game. If you want to see what I'm working on, you can check out my developer website at bluetorchgames.com. But that'll be it for today. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. I'll have more content coming very soon. Let me know if there's anything I can do better, and I'll try my best. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.